Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of requests from people to teach them individual note fingerings, which I don't think makes a whole lot of sense because that's gonna take me for freaking ever to teach all of you every single note that you individually cannot get. I'm gonna teach you how to read flute fingering charts. Then you can go look it up yourself. I'll actually give you a website later on in this video. Even now, I'm still referring to that page because I'm looking at, you know, the really weird trill fingerings and also really, really high notes in the fourth octave. For those of you who have seen my Flute 101 video, I actually already taught you guys where to put your fingers, but for the sake of this video, to make this video complete, I'll show you again. Here's your flute. Your lovely flute. This is actually my first flute. Wow, such a loser. Now, I've had some people ask me, do I hold it this way or do I hold it this way? You hold it this way, okay? Like this. From your angle, you should be holding the flute the opposite way, okay? Don't do a mirror image of what I'm doing right now, okay? Or else you're doing it wrong. Where do you put your fingers? Let's start with your right hand. See the foot joint here? I already taught you guys in Flute 101 how to put the flute together. Oh man, I'm starting to remember how hard this was to do. In the Flute 101 video, I didn't even have like a little screen on the side. I was actually totally guessing if the flute and my hand were in the shot, so. Anyway, first finger, second finger, third finger. For you guys who play the piano, you will know these fingers as two, three, and four instead. One, two, three, and then you hit the foot joint, got it? You better have your flute out if you're actually trying to learn this, okay? Index finger, third finger, ring finger, pinky. So your pinky is actually gonna operate all three of these. If you have an extra one, there's actually an extra key here if you have that. And your thumb just goes like that. Generally speaking, you just want it to look as natural as possible. See that? For your left hand, see this little guy? Well, this guy is actually operated by this guy. There's not actually a hole down there. Do you see that? Go and look at your own flute right now. So you put your index finger here. You skip one key, third finger there. Then see this guy next to this little lever? Put your fourth finger there and the lever is operated by your pinky. So how the heck do you balance the flute, right? Okay, so this I also went over in the Flute 101 video. See this little area here? Meaty part of your finger right there, kind of between this joint and your knuckle. You rest it against the flute while your fingers are on it. See these thumb keys? They are operated by your thumb. Yeah, hence thumb keys. That's why you skip this key because it's actually operated by down there. Pause the video right now and study where my fingers are. And try and get like a oh, 360 degree view. Uh, uh. Your hands and your fingers are gonna stay in the same spot and they're gonna operate those keys that they are hovering over. There are cheat keys around. Like this one is a cheat key, this is a cheat key. This thumb thing that I was talking about, that's a cheat key as well. Your fingers will move a tiny bit, but not really much, okay? Basically, your hands stay where they are. You won't kind of be going all over like this, okay? That ain't gonna happen. Here's my sad excuse of a whiteboard. Wherever your fingers hover over, those are the keys that I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna skip every other key. This is flute fingering shorthand. Sometimes you'll see this. That is the B flat thumb key. And sometimes you will see these little guys. Those are the trill keys. But for now, most of you do not have to operate them. If none of the circles are filled in, that means you don't press them. If they are filled in black, that means you press them. So this is how we would write our shorthand for A. Whoa, I almost filled in the wrong one. There. So that's how you finger A. What you're looking at right now, that is actually a mirror image. So stare at it and basically your hands should match it. You press this one down this one down and your thumb as it's notated here notated I'm such a music geek and then you press this guy let's try it with another one let's play I don't know D what you press is this one this one this one then one two three and no pinky and that's how you finger D. I've only shown you two of them, okay? These are just demos. I'm not actually gonna play it for you right now. Oh, fine, okay, I'll play it for you. So A, uh, 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 pinky. So that's two different octaves. For this one, mm, 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 mm. There you go. I notice that some people slightly misunderstand how you switch between fingerings. Let's do just A and D what we were doing. Some people think that if you want to switch from A to D, you have to let go of everything and then press everything down again. 
You don't have to do that. Only lift the ones you need to lift and then put down the ones they need to put down and it'll just happen. So you can just go A to D. You don't have to go A, D. Don't make life harder on yourself than it really needs to be, okay? Now for the website that I suggest, www.wfg.woodwind.org slash flute. And I'll have a link here and in the info bar down below. That website is my personal favorite flute fingering website because it's the most comprehensive that I've found and I always refer to it. I hope that was helpful to you guys. If you have more questions, put them in the comments below. Also, you can go on Facebook and I'm on Twitter as well. If you want to keep up with my videos, please subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Bye. If you want this exact version, the brand is Apex and here's the model number. Okay, you guys ready? B S Three, two, one. Are you, are you freaking serious? I mean, really? Whoever gave this that model number, I think totally needs to get a pay raise. <sighs> okay, there we go. You guys have no idea how hard it is to actually make these videos. Oh, oh. There's no space here. Oh, 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 oh. You guys see my cheat sheet now. Blah, 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 blah. Okay.